Welcome back to the channel everyone, and if you've been wondering how to make traditional cherry liquor, then the universe has guided you to the right place. In this exciting video, we are diving into the delightful world of homemade old school cherry liquor. Whether you're a seasoned home brewer or a complete beginner, this easy to follow tutorial will guide you through every step of the process. Using just a few simple ingredients, you'll create a rich and flavorful cherry liquor that is perfect for sipping or gifting. Without further ado, let's begin this DIY cherry alcohol recipe with its ingredients. 1 kilo of fresh cherries, peats and all, 300 grams of sugar, white or brown, whatever you have available, and 500 milliliters of 95 proof alcohol. Then the tools you'll need are a gallon jar, cheesecloth and an elastic band, a sifter, a large bowl and a couple of bottles to store the finished cherry alcohol in. And here's a quick point about the cherries before we move on. Depending on your preference, you can use any variety of sweet, sour, bitter or wild cherries. Still, make sure they come from a safe, pesticide-free environment like a farmer's market, your own or a family member's garden, or even a shop where they can guarantee that the fruits are safe and clear from all the poisons they spray on our food these days. If you're picking the cherries yourself, remember to protect your skin from the sun, leaf cuts or scratches. I wear a pair of sleeves from Farmer's Defense, which is a great, beautiful and comfortable way to keep your skin safe in the warm season. Suppose you're interested in their many models and patterns. In that case, you can find out more by clicking the link on the screen or present in the description of the video. And if you decide to buy anything from their site, don't forget to use the checkout code HOMEVERT underscore HOMESTEADER to get a 10% discount on your entire order. Thanks for considering it and this being an affiliate link, you will be supporting me as well. Now back to the recipe. The next step is very simple and it involves preparing the cherries for this DIY homemade cherry liquor. By that I mean making sure you remove any stems or leaves as they will not positively contribute to our traditional homemade cherry liquor. Give them a quick wash and then add them to the gallon jar. The pits stay in because they are in a way the secret ingredient that will give our DIY cherry brandy a very special and distinct flavor profile. In a good way of course. Then add the sugar to the cherries, maybe without spilling as much as I did, cover the jar with a cheesecloth, secure it with a rubber band and place it in a dark cool place for 3 to 5 days. This will allow the sugar to extract the delicious cherry juice from the fruits and create a phenomenal cherry syrup. When this time has passed, remove the cover and add the alcohol over the syrup in the fruits, giving the jar a quick mix so all the ingredients get fully incorporated. Then cover the jar again and place it in the same dark cool place for a minimum of one week, but honestly a month is better. In this time our easy homemade cherry liqueur will mature and become liquid ruby. After this time has passed it's time to strain the liquid. So use a fine mesh sieve or cheesecloth to separate the cherries from the liquor. And please, hear my advice, do not, I repeat, do not throw away the fruits. Yes, they are wrinkly and soft, but at the same time they are a delicious alcoholic treat that you can take out whenever you have friends over and impress the heck out of them. Alternatively, they can be easily pitted by hand and used in cakes, muffins and dessert makings of all kind, thus creating some really special and unique alcoholic desserts for adults only, of course. At least that's what I do. I keep them in a jar, I cover them with a bit of cherry liquor and store them in the fridge to avoid any fruit flies from having an orgy party in my honor because I gave them an unlimited booze supply. <laughs> Joke aside, fruit flies suck and I hope they go to the seventh level of hell and stay there. Apart from that cheerful thought, we're done and the only thing left is to pour the best cherry liquor that you've ever tried into a pretty bottle and, well, taste it of course, what else? This is truly the best cherry liquor I've ever made. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the fruits and the season that we've just finished, but the flavor is rich, the aroma is intoxicating, and it's perfect for sipping or making cherry brandy cocktails. It's also a fantastic gift idea. I hope your own DIY homemade cherry liquor is also ready to enjoy. And what I say enjoy, I mean with moderation, First and foremost, this is a delicacy 
to be enjoyed like expensive chocolate, a tiny bit out of time and savored in micro sips feeling each drop as it's raising the vibration of your heart and soul to new heights. But if you want to get shit faced on it, that will work as well. Who am I kidding? You do you guys and remember that the goal of each of my videos is to have fun in the kitchen and to provide for our families at the same time. Thank you very much for joining me today and I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make DIY cherry liqueur. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to stay updated on more DIY fruit liquor recipes like this cherry edition one and other homemade alcohol recipes that I will do soon. Cheers to your delicious homemade cherry liquor and I will see you next time. Bye bye.